Sansa Lillian is a participant at the Google Business Women Group Conference in Jinja. She has come to learn how to use the new web technologies to boost her business. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm manufacturing um, soap, cleansers, liquid soap also. Contrary to the perception that the new web technologies are a preserve for the youthful population, Sansa is proof that this is untrue. That since I'm a manufacturer and I'm in a cocoon somewhere and I'm producing, I'm expecting that afterwards I'll get more markets. So once I advertise myself on Google, I know I'll get more customers. She says it's not optional but paramount for people of all ages, gender and walks of life to learn new age technology brought about by the internet evolution. With GBG, I've come to learn a lot of how to open up websites, to start up uh, working hand in hand with other people. So I know it is going to widen my project. I think it is high time we also joined the new technologies. Because this world is running, you'll be left behind if you don't join the new technologies. Because normally we tend to think that these are for youths. And we think that they are doing wonders. Whereas you, old people, you are left behind. So the earlier you old ladies up there come up and start on new technologies, the better for you and for your what? Your businesses. And also you learn more and more. You will fit in now like me with my children. They are youths. Incidentally, one of my child is dealing with ICT in Makini. So you find that when they are talking about certain things, I also now there. I'm there. I can talk. I can discuss with them. And if I hadn't known, I'll just say a boob. When you come, for example, my dad, if I explain to him he, about my course, at times when I'm always on my laptop, he always complains. The course that you're doing is spoiling you, computer is spoiling you because you're always on your computer. But simply because he has not seen the good side of it, he didn't have the chance to see that kind of thing while he was young or while he was a youth. That is why he has all reasons to complain. But when you look at the elder people who have come here to attend GBG and the Google thing, all those te technologies that they are explaining to them how they work, they come to appreciate. I've been there, I've been trying to hear all their views they've been talking about and they have really The initiators of GBG Jinja have high expectation that the local community will incorporate the Google web technologies in their businesses and hence expose them to a wider market. GBGs are all over the world. In Uganda, we've had one in Kampala. The second chapter is Jinja. And because we would like Jinja to come up, Jinja businesses to take advantage of Google technologies, we decided to bring G days for the first time in Jinja. We're also doing another thing, and that is the GBG Women. GBG Women is the first in Uganda. Women being empowered using web technology. So we are doing that today as well. All the videos are usually put on Google, Google Plus and YouTube. And, YouTube. and to, our, to our circles, our customers, we usually have our websites, our blogs. You have your videos demonstrate what you do. They demonstrate the accounting software and what it would help you. And how, like say we have QuickBooks and there are two kinds. So we would show you the, the different kinds and then we would show you where you would need it and how you would use it and payroll systems and exactly where it would apply to you. Jinja is the first town outside Kampala. Google is holding a Google Days conference. Bernard Luigale, the Managing Director, AB Web Hosting and Information Systems based in Jinja, argues that Jinja, a famous industrial town in the past, needs a new lease of life and to make it 
He urges the local and foreign entrepreneurs to embrace new and advanced technologies and innovations. What we're doing in our workshops, where young people are increasingly coming to, we are training them on how to be able to use how to use Google apps, which are on smartphones. So they are discovering that apart from the games and WhatsApp, there are actually apps that can help them distribute their talents, distribute their movies, distribute their skills, and they're picking. G GBG Women is uh, a program that is under GBG Ginger, and this program basically focuses on women entrepreneurs. We look at women in business. We organize events where women come together to share ideas, to share experiences, to share, basically to network and uh, share challenges in business and, and just uh, really get together, get to know each other and network as far as business is concerned. Despite the numerous advantages of the internet now easily accessible on mobile phones, computers and tablets, there is increased concern by the public that it breeds an addictive behavior and cuts on productivity, especially among the youth. They're using it to do so many weird things that, that the, the older ones look at and they don't appreciate. But I believe that those who are learned and are going to school may not use them for the same thing like as others believe that they do. Personally, I, I, I will not have time if I go to, to the internet and I'm trying to search for some things, maybe like I've been given coursework, I may not have time to go and look for those things. Generally, I think the reason is because they're idle. They don't know when they get to the internet and they log on to the maybe YouTube or whatever. They don't know what exactly to look for. They don't have what to look for. But if you have something that you're looking for, then there is no way you can go in and start misusing the internet or the technology. Of the okay, some of them are using the web technologies just for fun. You know, they are using the internet for fun. They don't know that it can actually be a very big tool as far as business is concerned. All the events, and these events we invite uh, men and women. We also have a section for developers. This is where mostly the young people are. So today as well we are introducing Google Developer Group in Jinja. And we have many young people, mostly university students that are actually attending. For here we have young people that would like to start businesses. We will be running workshops for startup. And this will help the young people in Jinja to start business at low cost and yet we can take advantage of the, the web technologies to grow. It is an everyday picture on the road, on a border border, in office and many other places to see people looking downwards to their smartphones and computers instead of communicating face to face and talking to each other. Scientists cite the internet evolution as one of the most significant technological discoveries in modern age. Dennis Igoa for Business Today.